most people realize and are responsible and know that the only way to get out of this is to by being better humans. The kindness economy is a move away from a capitalist economy to a thriving economy that's based around putting people, planet and profit in that order, not prioritizing growth at any cost. They don't go together. We have a polarization. We have two camps. So you have the fast fashion, the cheap, the Chinese who are pumping, you know, clothes of three pounds, five euros are growing and growing. Of course, they're the short term. How do we make the quickest money as much as we can? Over here, this is a growing area because most people realize and are responsible and know that the only way to get out of this is to by being better humans. That is growing. But in life, we've always had those two camps. But this, in terms, and that's why I talk about the investment on ESG, the way that most businesses are getting behind this, because we know there is no other choice. Well, they do. I think the, the thing about businesses in the future is that we can have great growth if we're doing what's right and not affecting the ecology of the planet. That can still deliver profit. That can still deliver great product. That can still deliver great retail but it comes from the heart rather than just the head. There will always be the green rushes. There will always be the people and the businesses that think, how, how can I get through this? So much should be doing on provenance, where they come from, how things are made. We don't have any of that. You know, we, we've been doing it in food. This is organic. We know where this comes from. And then there's the other bit where we're not touching it. Well, you don't have to have any of that. So I think really policy needs to change. We need a whole holistic approach. This is policy from government. This is policy within society that needs. And this is absolutely our instinct as humans in doing what's right. I think Patagonia is a particularly beautiful business. It understands. It says, it's given its business over to a trust now after years of making huge amounts of profits by doing what was right. And it says that its number one shareholder is Mother Earth. That's pretty lovely, right? Um, now, there are other businesses that will make money to give back to society. Lots of people are, are doing that. Lots of food businesses coming onto the market, recycling, upcycling fashion, now growing faster than fast fashion. We're starting to see this come into mainstream. The high street has to be there. We are going in and are in the middle of a world crisis on how we live. We need to travel less in that way. We need to have all our needs met locally. We need more connections with community, which is vital. We are seeing this happening across the world, the 15 minute cities, where all your needs are met within either 10 minutes or 15 minutes of walking or cycling. Of course, that's got to be the future. They won't be high streets filled with shop after shop after shop. There'll be high streets that's filled with well-being, doctor surgeries. Of course, there'll be coffee shops, crashes. Then you'll see other types of shops. That is going to come back. And it needs a whole new vision at central government as well to help that happen. And it is in many, many countries.